హలో నమస్తే సలాం వాలేకుమ్ సస్త్రీయకాల్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అనదర్ సెషన్ విత్ యువర్ వాష్ ఎఫ్ అట్ వారేవా డాట్ కామ్ టుడే వీ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ హౌ టు మేక్ గోలీ బజ్జీ యూ నో దిస్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ సౌత్ ఇండియన్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ బజ్జీ విచ్ ఇస్ గోలీ మీన్స్ నథింగ్ బట్ గోటీ అండ్ యూ నో మార్బుల్స్ అండ్ వెన్ వీ వర్ కిడ్స్ ఐ యూస్ టు లవ్ ప్లేయింగ్ విత్ దోస్ గోటీస్ అండ్ ఆఫన్ you know we used to get thrashed for playing that uh, uh, goli because it is not considered to be a gentleman game and while you grow up you have to stop giving up playing with this goli and we graduate to play with our own marbles so today let's learn how to make this goli bajji what we going to need is uh, green chilies hing hing gives a very nice flavor for our, our bajji here and uh, chopped coriander and this awesome flavoring uh, jeera that is cumin seeds some peppercorns chopped ginger and uh, finely chopped curry leaves you know finely chopped curry leaves gives a very nice uh, flavor for this so in this we're going to add chopped white of the coconut and we're going to add pinch of sugar salt and we're going to add some baking soda or baking powder if you are adding baking powder then you can add little more because baking soda is more stronger than baking powder okay first we're going to mix this and in this we're going to add some rice flour and add half a cup of uh, curd make sure it is sharp and just squeeze in a wedge of lime juice and we're going to add some water we're going to take the help of the whisk also ha this looks like my quick rava dosa mixture you have to check that video because that is one of the awesome preparations now in this we're going to add some oil one tablespoon of oil and in this we're going to add all purpose flour that is maida now we're going to make this not like a dough but like a batter okay and we're going to beat this the same way we do with the jalebi batter whisk helps uh, in not letting this form into lumps but that's okay now after adding this flour look at the consistency you know now we're going to let the gluten form by continuously beating it keep uh, beating it like for around 5 uh, uh, to 6 minutes then you will start seeing this dough stretching out you know into a nice thread like mixture that is what the consistency you want ah uh, this dough is perfect the oil is also getting hot now and there are various techniques that people use to make these things i'll show you a very simple thing how to make this into our marbles the goli things and all you need to do is take a little bit of the dough and just drop it and even though you dropped it this will somehow turn into roundels just like marbles i'm going to add some more okay like that the oil should be hot enough otherwise uh, the shape you will not get a nice round shape and another thing is you know if the batter is uh, too thin then you may have to add little bit of uh, rice flour if you want it or else some more of uh, all purpose flour and make this into small dumplings okay that's good okay now you will have these slowly converting into the marbles the edible ones now when you make this you may not be able to make it perfect the first time but after you're playing with these balls for a while then you will be able to make them into nice roundels now look at them they're pretty okay and the nature of this batter itself is such that that when you put this batter in this they will puff up like little bit balloons and turn take the round shape okay this is very easy now just make sure that they're golden in color for that just uh, mixing them so that they get a nice uh, round shape after frying them look at this uh, golis they are all uh, perfectly colored and just make sure that they are nicely golden in color and these can be eaten with any kind of chutney i prefer them to eat these with the coconut chutney you can even have them with tomato sauce or anything you can have them even with tomato ketchup and they will taste fantastic so look at this uh, awesome goli bajji call them goti bajji or marble bajji but remember these are not the marbles to play around with this is food so just eat and enjoy look at them not one but couple of them just pick them and eat it with the chutney ha huh. wow
they are like nice punch and uh, wow, it's fantastic. Mm. You know, because the pepper, the cumin seeds, and the coconut, wow. And especially I'm eating with coconut chutney, but my son, he loves to eat it with tomato ketchup. So just enjoy it with whatever sauce you want and they will taste fantastic. Ah, just super. These are undoubtedly the best. Wow. Mm. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's session of learning how to make this awesome goli bhaji with your washef. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.